finish the greatness. Right now, I'm about to get some curls for the girls. A little arm day. Keep in mind, I don't do arm days every week. I do an arm day once every three weeks or so. You know, I've been doing a lot of frequency. And I throw in an arm day once every three weeks or so to touch them up, make sure I still got my strength. And quite frankly, I just love arm days. So if you like arm days, you're in for a treat. As you see, got that pre-OG on deck. Get you about 30 of them bitches. And everybody who's gotten it, thank you so much. Your uh, support is never unwarranted. And I always appreciate it. Anyway, I'm going to get my mind right. Y'all stay tuned. All right, homies and homies. As you see, jumping it off with some close grip bench. Now, I'm not really a big fan of the flat bench for close grip benching. It's real awkward on my shoulder, I feel. So I prefer incline or decline bench when doing the close grip bench press for triceps. All right, and today I did pyramid style to really focus on squeezing and contracting. I started with a plate for like 20 reps, then I did a plate and a quarter, then I added a 10 to that, and then I did one more set with four plates. And I kept it uh, 20 reps on the first, I did about 15 on the second, um, about 10 or 12 on the third set, and on the final set with two plates, I did about eight. And really good, man. It gives you the best of both worlds. It hits you with that endurance, gives you a good pump, and hypertrophy, man. You can't beat it, man. The best of both worlds. And uh, quite frankly, it's going to help you get stronger, too, because sometimes you can actually move more weight than you think you can. It's just you're scared to touch it. Once you get your central nervous system accustomed to heavier loads, it's going to eventually feel like a little bitch weight. And before you know it, you're going to be doing your heaviest set for reps. Just give it time. Then I did some dips, of course, as you saw in the video. Yeah, baby. Big girl if you love too, you hear me? You ain't stacking, you ain't maxing. If you ain't stacking, you just slap it. So after I got done doing those dips, decided to go ahead and throw in some isolation work. Did some heavy press downs. Now some of y'all are probably thinking, God damn, Chris, you got a plate on the stack. You must be stronger than the motherfucker. Oh, there's Sandra right there. You know, shout out to Sandra. Y'all thinking I'm probably strong, man. We got a pussy ass stack in our gym. Trust me, that stack is real light. You have to add weight to that bitch. So I did some heavy press downs, and then I did a superset right here. What I did was I superset it with uh, overhead tricep extension, leaning forward, and then I went straight into press downs. And that's one set, and I do them both to failure. Overhead tricep extensions, superset it with press downs. And as you see, your boy is still, still keeping it whole ready. You know what I mean? I'm not even cutting, man. I'm eating to grow. I'm training heavy, and uh, as you see, I haven't been doing no cardio. All I'm doing is keeping my diet very simple, eating quality, healthy, nutritious foods. Some of you may call it clean dieting. That's exactly what I'm doing. I'm eating pretty much quote-unquote clean foods, having one cheat meal a week, and it's keeping me whole ready, and my muscles are full as fuck. So I did hammer curls with the rope. That rope is going to keep that constant tension on you. Then I did some reverse curls. Look out. Let, let me talk to the family real quick, man. Come in real quick. Listen up, guys. There's a time and a place to use heavy weight. Okay? I'm not one of these hippies that's gonna tell you uh, it's not about the weight, it's about the form, some dumb ass shit like that. You gotta lift heavy weight. But when it comes to preacher curls, put your ego to the side and let the bicep do all the work. Okay? Control it. Control it. Control it. See that? Control it. Control it. None of this shit. You see a lot of this, motherfuckers. Like, who the fuck are you impressive, man? Look, man. You want to walk around with peaks and shit? Push the foot to the side of your right. Okay? Nobody cares about how much you curl. Oh, your arm's hugging the sleeves. I want to ask you that. 
Your arms ain't hugging the sleeves. You owe it to yourself. You owe it to yourself to try something different. Come in, caravan. <laughs> you, you can fuck it up, man. You fucking fire, man. <laughs> I'm just bullshit, guys. <laughs> And after I did those reverse curls, I went into dumbbell preacher curls, twisting, twisting, supinating the wrist is really gonna give you that deep contraction in the short head of the bicep, all right? A lot of people complain about their biceps lagging when they flex, you know, lagging at peak. Obviously, peak is genetics, but if you wanna make your peak as best as possible, you better twist, do some kind of twisting motion in your arm um, routine. And this is the last exercise right here. Decide to do some machine preacher curl. Well, it's not even a machine. It's more of a hammer strength machine. And um, on the very last set, I decided to go ahead and do a driver set to go ahead and burn them out. You know how I like to do it, man. I like to finish my muscles off with pain and a good pump. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Comment below and let me know what you think. <laughs> you ready? Check, check. We good? Yeah. I'm in focus? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. Hello, Swope? Check. All ready. All right. All right, homies and homies. As you see, I just got done fucking shit up. And uh, about to have me a little MTS Way Vanilla. And some pineapple post-workout. We'll take y'all out to eat with me, but I'm not going out to eat. I got a shitload of emails to do. So I'm just gonna go ahead and have me a little chicken, maybe some white potato, and get that shit done because I cannot go to bed unless my emails are done. I take care of my clients first. Yeah, as you know, I'm a personal trainer first by doing the second. I got bills to pay, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed the video, man. As you see, I'm gonna I'm I'm I got the new camera, got it in HD for y'all, and I'm gonna keep pumping out these videos for y'all because I know y'all look forward to them weekly for motivation. As always, don't forget to like my shit, comment, subscribe, holla back at your boy.